morning. So I had a decent night's sleep, not too bad. Down by the river, which is kind of nice, it uh, drowns out any strange noises and bumps in the night, so you don't really hear them, so it's kind of good. Anyway, I'm back down at the falls. Uh, much more cloudy this morning, which is kind of good for taking photographs of the waterfall. I, I've retaken a couple that I took yesterday. I uh, haven't gone over the other side of the falls again, just uh, on this side. I retook that panorama, for example, and played around with the wide angle a little more as well. But I'm just brewing up some coffee. Gonna have that and uh, then probably head on out. So, ever get a chance? This is a wonderful place, Jack's River Falls. Okay, so full confession here. That morning I seem to have lost a few pieces of video. I'm not entirely sure what has happened. And most of it was just B-roll. So, some of it um, of the Cascade itself and some of it uh, on the trek back up to the car. Uh, of particular note, uh, I seem to have lost some footage of a, a mother wild hog with three little piglets, which I'm quite sad about. But also there was a, another image that I'd taken of the Upper Cascade and I talked on there about the composition and what I liked and everything. So instead of that, I've switched to the studio and I'm, I'll go through this picture with you uh, on the computer instead. Okay, so this image, uh, which I'm calling Upper Jacks, uh, what attracted it, uh, me to it in the first place was this main big rock here with the small cascades coming down and I love these lines running up through the image and what I was able to do with my wide angle lens which is 12 millimeters fixed um, about 18 millimeters equivalent is that I was able to get down nice and close to these tiny little cascades or rivulets here and make them quite big in the image but have this nice strong uh, rock running diagonally up and out through the image. So I quite liked that but what was happening was that my because it's a fixed lens and because I was standing literally on the the edge of a quite a large step down in the rocks uh, I couldn't move my feet back in order to um, get more in the image. So I was pretty much getting cut off around about here and around about here in the uh, uh, with the single image. So I decided to go for a two shot panorama with the wide angle lens. Now that can create a lot of issues with distortion and you've got to be very careful. But I managed to do that um, with enough space on the, on the outside so that I can crop out what I didn't need and still create a fairly a good image without too much distortion. And what this now means is that I now have uh, the line coming up through here. This little peak here is isolated and then we've got this second uh, line coming up here so your eye moves up through the scene and finally up to these uh, trees up in the in the sky. Now I didn't get any color that morning, it was definitely a grey overcast sky but at least it's not blown out by a harsh light. And I also quite like this little uh, dead tree here with a touch of brown. It was just a, a nice detail, sort of balancing against these reds and browns down the bottom here. So I think overall, I, uh, I think the composition is pretty strong. Uh, I think there's a lot of very nice detail in it and I certainly got into the image what I needed just by doing that uh, two shot panorama with the, the wide angle lens. Uh, so probably my favorite image there from, from that morning on the second day at Jack's River Falls.
as I'm uh, walking along and returning on this beach bottom trail I'm just uh, thinking about how wonderful it is I mean this is a, a great time of year to be to be coming along here because all of the mountain laurel flowers are out and they're by far one of my favorite flowers in the mountains um, you get these little umbrella like uh, flowers themselves and then before they actually come out they got little uh, almost like cones look like mini ice cream cones or something like that but they're absolutely amazing and they're literally all along the trail at this time of year so really worthwhile we've even had some of the early rhododendron flowers coming out too so it's a magical place <laughs> That's a bit unfortunate. I guess this means the end of our trail, the end of our little adventure for today, for another week. But I guess if you like uh, thundering waterfalls and s sleeping beside a, a mountain stream, wildlife and wildflowers, then this is a pretty good one, especially at this time of year in the spring. Anyway, I um, guess it's the end of my video for this week as well. I think what I'll do is I will leave you with uh, a panorama shot of the Jacks River Falls. Um, either the one that I took last night or the repeat one that I did this morning. And uh, yeah, looking forward to next week actually. I've got a, a really nice one planned so if all, everything goes well then, uh, then it should be good. Uh, once again, if you're liking these videos, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. But until next week, thanks for watching and bye for now.